Hey guys and welcome back to a new tutorial video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So I know that Crawlomatic is a very useful plugin and today I have to redo the tutorial video for it because the first version of the tutorial video was released back in 2017 and since then the Crawlomatic plugin got many many updates and also its interface changed and let me make today an updated tutorial video for it so this tutorial video will be made of two or even more parts because the crawlomatic plugin got many many updates since its initial release and i cannot cramp in all the content that i have to tell you to teach you how to use this plugin in a single video so because of this in this video i will be talking only about the basic configuration of the plugin and in other videos that i will be releasing in upcoming days i will be diving into advanced configuration for this plugin so bear with me because it is really worth it okay so keep in mind in this tutorial video i will show you how to set up a basic rule and how to make the plugin scrape content from a website okay so now let's install the plugin click plugins add new in wordpress and uh, upload plugin choose file search for the zip file you downloaded from code canyon don't forget to extract the zip locally because it also contains documentation and licensing so you will find help and licensing folders and next with the installable zip file of the plugin so install this zip after the installation is complete activate the plugin okay now go to web crawl to posts plugin menu and today i will show you two use cases of the plugin so the first one will be single article scraping and the second one will be uh, multiple article scraping so the multiple article scraping will use a website to get multiple links from it and to scrape each link that the plugin crawled so first of all i need to tell you the difference between scraping and crawling so scraping means that the plugin extracts content from websites and uh, using that content it creates posts and crawling means that the plugin extracts links from websites which can be further scraped okay so i hope you understood the difference between scraping and crawling so scraping is used to get content crawling is used to get links that can be scraped okay so i selected as this uh, example the word website this is a tag blog i'm sure you heard of it so let's use the word and let's open an article on it and let's get content from this article so i copied the url of this article this is the use case when the plugin only scrapes content from a single website web article in this case so paste the url here click settings i will not be diving in into any other settings fields or something else here only the things that are necessary to set up the plugin as we would like it scroll down and uh, be sure to not check the do not scrape start url so leave this unchecked scroll further down and here in the content query type you can leave the plugin to auto detect the content or you can use a visual selector tool so let's use in this case a visual selector tool and the article that we wish to scrape will be opened now let's hover the mouse over the content we wish to import and highlight it fully now let's click and the content query string was filled with the xpath uh, expression that is needed to make the plugin understand that we wish to extract content from where we clicked all we have to do is click save settings now 
and before anything let's visit our site to see if it is empty so it is empty and now let's click select an action and run this rule now and the plugin will start importing content from the site it already finished because the green tick appeared and let's refresh the site and we will see that the plugin imported the content so let's open the post and here it is the plugin scraped the content from this site and also imported its featured image okay now let me show you how to use the second use case that i want to highlight in this tutorial video which is the serial scraping or the importing of multiple articles from a website so if we want to get all these posts automatically without we uh, without the need to enter each url separately then let me show you how to do this so for this copy the url that lists the articles here and paste it in the scraper start seed url okay so now we have the main page of the word and click settings scroll down and here in the do not scrape start url we need to check this checkbox this this time because this checkbox will tell the plugin to not scrape content from this site so if you recall scraping means that the plugin will extract content and create a post using this uh, url and we don't want to do this because we don't want to have a post created with the content from this site we only want to crawl links from this site and to extract links and scrape all posts that are linked here for this as i told you check the do not scrape start url checkbox and in the seed page crawling query type selector instead of disabled click visual selector so this is the way we tell the plugin from where exactly should it extract the links from the source page so let's scroll down and highlight an example link we can do it with any of these example links all we have to do is highlight an example link in red and click it and the plugin will autofill the seed page crawling query string with the value that will make the plugin understand that we want to extract content from all these links because all these links are matching this query string if you want to dive into some uh, advanced stuff then you can inspect element and search for the a element which is the link in the links that you want to inspect and search for classes or ids that match these links if you have html knowledge then you will know that classes are these so if you find classes you can copy them and the plugin will support also adding the classes ids xpf regex sitemap auto detect so the plugin will have all these options but these are just an uh, optional stuff i will be diving into these in upcoming tutorial videos for today i will leave the visual selector uh, use case and you can also use this because this is the easiest one to follow okay so i already filled out the content query type which matches the content of posts that are listed here so if i open a post we can check that if we inspect an element the c entry content is the class that uh, contains all the content that i wish to scrape and this is the c entry content class is what the plugin auto filled already for us and now let's save settings okay we can go back to our main site let's click select an action permanently delete all posts to delete the post that the plugin already imported the previous time we ran it and now let's run importing again and now the plugin will get content from the word let's refresh the site 
and here it is the first uh, post it scraped also if we run content importing again the plugin will get another post so if we refresh the site now here it is the second post it scraped if we run content importing again and refresh the site here it is, the third post is scraped. Also, if we increase the max number of posts that are scraped at a time and save settings, now the plugin will scrape three posts from the source page. And also the time that it runs is a bit increased. So here it is. The content from the world is flowing in into my site. Okay. So this is the basic functionality of Crawlomatic. Don't forget to check also the advanced tutorial videos that will be following this basic tutorial because they will talk about all and every settings fields that the plugin has here because as you see it has many many options and you can make it to uh, fit your requirements and needs and it is really really useful to know every every settings field from here what can do and what its potential is because this, this plugin's potential is huge trust me it's really really great plugin if you want to scrape content from the net okay so this is all for today don't forget to get check uh, other tutorial videos that will be coming up for this plugin with advanced features and settings for it thank you for watching until the end until next time please subscribe to this channel to get more tutorials and more useful stuff have a nice day stay safe bye bye